Hello everybody, my name is Amelia and welcome to another Let's Play Animal Crossing video. I can't actually remember what day it is today on my island. I wonder if there's a way I can check. I think it might be day 10. I'm just going to pause and check. So fun fact, it's actually day 11 because I've called the first, the moving to the island as I've called that day zero and obviously day 11 hasn't come to an end so I'm not going to get, so it's not going to register it. So yeah, I've really overthought that. But anyway, it's day 11 on my new island, Tintagel, and I'm just going to go through the gameplay and I'm trying to reach three stars. I know it's not, ca I'm not capable of doing that today. But I'm just going to see if I can sort of get it done quickly. So I've watered my pumpkins. What I have decided to do today is I want to give Renee a presence. I want to do more villager hunting. I need to put spooky lanterns outside the new houses. And I have like a playground area I want to set up on the island. So I'm going to put the garden faucet here. Oh, bummer. Why is she always picking fights with people? Yesterday it was Melba, today it's Flora. It's just like, why can't you just control your temper and get along with people? Why do I always have to keep giving gifts to people for you? Why are you acting like a knob, Renee? You should do it. I'm not going to indulge your stupidity any longer. It's a present. Yeah, she has got to go. I can't cope with her picking fights. Great, that's something I have to put in my house. We'll put it here for now. Oh no. I have to put it inside. And I have to pick up some things. So I had to pick up a few things on the beach. I've been trying to spawn a fly for the longest time and it just it isn't working and I'm starting to get super frustrated. That Mabel is here. But Melba's singing, so we'll give that a hard pass, which is a bit of a bummer. All that crap in the so I'm going to put a pumpkin here. Or a spooky lantern as they're called. So everyone gets a spooky lantern. And this is um Klaus's place. It's kind of fancy. I'm tempted to s let's go inside. Oh wow, 
dish fancy. Let's say hi. Oh, oh Amelia, glad to see you. The Claws Express has arrived in Tintadil. It's a very messy train that needs to do some unpacking right now, so I'll have to catch you later. Okay. So I need to find a place for a playground. Maybe here. Just put a, it's just a sand pit, sandbox. Open slide. Springing so I need to put this trash away. What's left for me to do is buy a plot of land and go villager hunting. I'm gonna have to bite a bullet and I wonder if I can get her to stop singing. I'm not a good singer, you should stop. really need Mabel though, this is going to be torture. My apologies. And there's absolutely nothing I like. It's not that bad. Maybe I get the straw glasses. Ah, uh, Amelia, hello, hello. We're getting more inquiries about the campsite you helped build. Yes, my plan is to draw visitors easy with a campsite has proven itself to be a masterpiece. I wouldn't call it genius, but hey. We've laid the groundwork to increase tourism and I hope the number of island residents now that positive word of mouth marketing about tinted gel will just spread. I admit though this is the most difficult part of the whole venture. Don't worry Mr Nook, as long as we work together I'm sure we'll reach our goal of having KK hold a concert here. You feel the same way I do don't you Amelia? Bet it all work out. Isabel, Amelia, thank you, thank you so much. I'm more determined than ever. 
It's not like you do any work. We're not done, Amelia. And what's this bullshit with we? Like, it's me that's doing the work, not you. And we're counting on you. When you're ready to talk about the next part of the project, come and ask me, what should I do? Between you and Melba, I'm just not in the mood today. And Renee. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I have something to tell you, Amelia. It's about our campsite. Waiting for visitors is okay, but maybe you're interested in having a more proactive approach. So you can use an amoeba item to invite guests to the campsite with a new service I've added. You can access the service via the Nook Stop. It works with Animal Crossing character amiibo. Stop it, not shopping. Fence. That's cute. Well, let's get on with this. Ah, Amelia. Hello, hello. This is the construction counter. How may I help you? Hmm? What should I do? I'm assuming this is going to trigger the conversation about island evaluations. Yes, yes, I'll explain the last major task project. Yes, yes, I'll explain the last major task for Project Cave In. We've started gathering feedback from folks on and off the island. Our focus right now should be improving the image of the island and gaining that all important word of mouth marketing. I've asked Isabel to assist with the collaborating feedback, so talk to her for the latest information. I think Isabel will have some good pointers on how we can improve the island's image as well. In short, we need to increase our population, improve the island's scenery, and turn Interjail into, a into the most charming island it can be. Infrastructure is important, but let's plant flowers, use decorations to make this place look snazzy. What do you think I've been doing the last few days? Like, I know you've been in here sitting, pretending to actually do stuff, but I've actually been putting stuff out on the island for several days now. Have you not noticed? Oh, this is so infuriating. Well, well then, thanks for your help. Hmm? Oh, I'm turning into a Karen, I'm so annoyed. Yep, let's give me my one star rating. Come on, Isabel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you are unprofessional. I think it's perfect, but hey. So yeah, basically she explains how she's going to critique the crap out of my island, and then drum roll, yay! My island sucks. Thanks for that, Isabel. Or maybe you should do more, find more people. What about Claws? He loves it here. She's absolutely useless. She does absolutely nothing. Let's sell some land. Oh, 
Because I need eight. People to get three stars. So I've got six at the moment. There's a seventh pot that's been filled. And let's go. This is a disaster. I know the singing is supposed to be cute, but does it have to be a, like an ear splitting, like an eardrum splitting register? Like, why can't it be, you know, an octave lower? Just to, you know, save my ears. Oops. Too close to the water, can I? This is exciting. So I'm going to have one more chat with um, Mabel. Clothes that she sells are absolutely terrible and like I got this from a balloon in the sky I just don't understand why if she wants sales she doesn't have better clothes So I'm going to put the clothes that I purchased in my storage. Then I'm going to go to treasure, not treasure islands. I'm going to go to visit some islands and hopefully meet some more. And hopefully meet some more characters and hopefully they won't be singing. Yeah. And I have to get rid of Renee. She's. I think this is why I got rid of her the last time. She just kept picking fights with people, and it's just. Yeah, it's. I just can't take the drama. I create enough of my own. Honestly, I'm so grumpy today. I could put, like, I'm tempted to create a no singing sign, but I don't have a sign. Oh, I'm gonna get something. 
So I would really love to find Nox or Sterling. Cute for a medieval island. So the rules I've set for myself with villager hunting is they can't. I want characters who I haven't had before, and I'm notorious for starting and not finishing islands. They can't be on my other island or my husband's island because it's weird. We've got two. Um, versions of the particular character and it's just so I visit his island a lot at one stage I had two Rexes and it was I had to get rid of one because it was just it became confusing as to what island I was on I know that sounds really daft, but it was just confusing. I mean, how many more times can I say confusing? Oh shit. I did not mean to do that. So tragically... It's a no to that little fella. I mean, he looks absolutely adorable, but yeah, I'm sure he's like really sweet, but yeah, I gotta say no. So I'm just going to bring up. A list of characters so I was thinking I would like any of the following 13 characters in, and I already have two of them so Drago, Boots, Poppy, Nox I don't actually have the amiibo for Nox so it would be great if I could find him Sterling, Colton, Renee, Becky, Doc I have his so with Doc I thought I could sort of give him a an apothecary and sort of put him in the city center Ava um, bones because I thought he could be a plague victim and live outside the city Vic which we've got I thought he would then be a character that lived outside the city in the wilderness on his own so I thought I could put Vic in a forest and Claws I thought he could sort of be in charge of a library be a librarian because he just sort of screams well educated and I have no idea what I'm going to do with my house. Actually, with, with Claw, with Vic, I could put him on the coast because I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Yeah, he's definitely going on the coast because he's a Viking. So. Time to take her. Oh no, she is super cute. That's Tutu, but I swear to you, that woman is trouble. She she's causes drama, just like Renee. Nope, definitely not. Because I remember seeing her and and thinking, oh my god, she's so adorable. She's perfect for. Um, I think I had her on my cottage core island. I didn't last a week with her. It was tough. 
she was always fighting with people I just I just don't understand they're virtual characters how are they fighting and I want my island to be a peppy character free zone I know that's horrible but I just they do drive me bananas I'm not a morning person a few weeds over here so you're cute but you're a drama queen so you're definitely not medieval friendly do you know how nintendo has been releasing the pictures of the characters so we can create icons on our nintendo accounts for them have you been sort of you don't really buy them well, have you been buying them with the Nintendo um, silver coin or silver point system? Have you been purchasing them? Because I've got, I've currently got Rowan. I was really excited to see him as my, my as my sort of Nintendo account icon picture. <laughs> Actually, I'll show you what I mean. Oh, go away. Oh, damn, I haven't been. I've just realized I was using that with my other accounts. Yeah. Oh, my God, how do I get out of this? Yay. Oh, Lyman. He's really adorable. So these things, so where you can get the... Because my husband has been collect, he's trying to collect all of the um, characters that are on his island, which is sort of adorable. And I was like, oh. I'll try and get all of these. Oh no, back. The glasses are interesting. Oh, there's Rodeo. I've got him on my island. I'm plucky. I think she'd be good for my island too, actually. Yeah, this is maybe plucky. Let's create an icon. I want to create my own. So I've got three characters. Yeah, I'm going to choose him. I've only got two backgrounds. Yeah, this one looks the best. Jupiter frame. I think I like this. I think this is sort of a similar colour to his little horns. Oh, 
Oh, cute. Yeah, so now I have a... So I think if other people that I'm friends with are playing the game and then I s start playing, I think that will pop up on the screen as my icon. So I thought I'd share that with you. Time for take This is supposed to be my lucky dress, by the way. It's not very lucky. Fingers crossed. Oh, I've seen that character. He would be really cute for um, like city core, especially if he had like a some type of sporting field in your city. I think he'd be really good. But that's not the the kind of island I have, which is. I do actually want to do a city core island and I'm a bit, a bit annoyed that I have only seen Mabel twice in 11 days but I've seen I think I've seen red like two or three times yeah I've seen red twice and you have to see Mabel three times and buy stuff from her every time before you can get the shop and it's just because I used to think if I brought everything from her that um that would trigger the shop and it doesn't it's actually you need to buy something from her three times and then she'll give you the shop On three separate occasions. I realised that was a little bit misleading. She was on um, seashells. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of former residents of seashells. Oh, it's making me feel homesick. Oh, I've got a message in a bottle. library wall. I love that DIY. It's one of my favourite DIYs. I have a really similar wallpaper in my um, toilet. It's, it's one of the reasons why I chose this place. I, it was new and I had that wallpaper in the toilet and I was like that is brilliant. I do think reading on the toilet is a little bit you know, kind of gross, but, you know, no judgment if you do that. Oh, maybe I'll say hi. I really miss her. Really am playing with five and not having a net. Let's say hi. Bertha. Wow, I thought I'd be the only one on this tour. I'm Bertha. You're Amelia. Did you really come here all the way from Tintagel? I think I flew past Tintagel once. It looks really pretty from the air. Oh, do you miss me? You don't recognise me. A bit sad. No way, I could have just walked here. Let's go. 
This is my seeing person. I want to avoid kangaroos and koalas. I know I already have a koala because these sort of exotic animals from Australia, they wouldn't have been known back then. Oh, again! Sorry, Tutu. You can't come to my island. I know you want to. I'm sorry. Let's go. So I've scanned Tutu in on my campsite because I have a feeling she's going to keep cropping up. And I can't take her because she's a pink, a bright pink bear and I'm trying to create a um, medieval island and she's just not going to suit it. And not that that's going to really dramatically increase my chances of finding the characters that I want, but at least I'll see other characters other than her. Suspenseful. Who is it? Please have a. Um... I wonder where that could be. <gasps> yes! Did you see that? I'm so excited! I heard he's a bit of a pain in the ass, but he's perfect for my island. I can't wait. Wasn't, wasn't expecting to run into, well, much of anyone out here. Wherever here is exactly. Anyway, I'm Nox and you're Amelia from Tintagel. Wasn't expecting a meet and greet on this tour. But then again, I can't. I ain't sure what I expected to find here. It's good to step away and look at things from a distance sometimes. Like I'm looking back and wondering if maybe it's time for me to make some kind of change, shake stuff up. Yes. Are you really asking me to move to Tinchidel? That's quite an invite. I almost don't know what to say. Ain't usually a problem for me, I've noticed. But you, but you like it there, right? Everyone is as, everyone as neighbourly as you. It's a great island. Oh. oh my goodness! Reckon I ought to start packing up my stuff as soon as, as I get back home from here. Clockly. Oh, guess I won't be calling that home much longer, will I? No! Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. And how long did it take? How many tickets did it take me? That's four. Six tickets, actually. Wow. I, I never thought I would find him. I'm just so excited that's made my day it's so tragic but it has so to celebrate I'm going to pick some weeds and I'll be back so yeah I'm super excited I can't believe I found Nox I haven't been I've never been more excited to see a character on an island. Except for maybe if I found Lyman on a um, on a mystery tour. I think I would really struggle to say no to Lyman. But... He's so adorable. Ready to go home. 
I got him as a starter character on an island and I had no idea how cute he was. I'm so happy right now I could tolerate Melba's singing and Renee's drama. So let me know, do you have a character on your island that like picks fights every day? I mean, two days in a row probably isn't every day, but it's, it's a bit much. So this is where I was hoping to have my able sisters, but it's clearly not going to work out like that. Oh, no way. I've got a fireplace. Oh, I found it in a tree. In this. What else did I get? I did really well today, actually. So that's all I have time for in this episode. Thank you for watching. And let me know, do you have a character who picks fights on your island? And I know the singing is supposed to be cute, but do you like it? Or am I just a massive grump? I am, I guess, older than the typical Animal Crossing New Horizons um, YouTuber. I feel weird calling myself a gamer because this is the only game I play. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video which will be another Let's Play Animal Crossing episode and I'm pretty sure in that Isabel will probably give my island one star so that'll be something to look forward to. Or maybe she'll give it two stars. Who knows?